Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Z the Crypto Miner, and today I'm bringing you an update video on my Robinhood account. I have over seven thousand dollars inside this account. I'm going to tell you how I grew this account to seven thousand dollars. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back. So we take a look at my Robinhood's account. I've been doing a challenge where every two weeks I invest two hundred dollars into my Robinhood account, buying high dividend uh, stocks with my two hundred dollars every two weeks. The major one that I've been focused on the last couple of weeks has been NRZ, and it's, it's down a little bit today, 1%, but over time, I should get a pretty good uh, dividend investment over this with this with the dividend yield being over 14.07%. Uh, over the last five years, it has showed a sign of an uptrend of 20%. 0.26 so that's pretty good over the last years down a little bit so i'm thinking i'm getting it for a steal buying it in the dips okay if we look at my portfolio on the one day i'm down 95 dollars around one percent 1.34 percent on the week i'm down 72 dollars one percent but on the month i'm actually up 91 dollars uh 1.3 percent on three months i'm up 79 dollars 1.14 percent on the year, I'm up 4%, almost $300. And overall, over the last couple years, I'm up 14% over $900. All right, so taking a quick look, I have uh, $273 in my account right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy some um, stocks live while the market is open. It is 222. All right, so one I've been looking at is AT&T. It's at $32.57. It is a blue chip style type company. Uh, this market cap is over $237 billion with a pretty great dividend yield of 7.04% on the year. All right, so I'm gonna buy two shares of AT&T. Even though it's been, uh, had a pretty good year of up 2.88% on the year, everyone knows that uh, the TV, uh, cable companies has been going down basically because of streaming everyone streams now but uh at t phone company they do provide one of the best um uh, internet providers throughout the country so i do see them having a rebound over time even though they're down eight percent over the last five years i could be getting it for a low right now so um if we do look at the robin hood uh, analysis 52 percent says buy if you're already holding it 41 percent says sold and seven percent says sell so i'm going ahead and buy two of these shares right now at market value uh, it's going to cost me 65 dollars and 14 cents 13 cents so i'm going ahead and buy that that's how easy it is to buy um stocks on Robinhood. If you guys want to try Robinhood, the link will be down in the description. All you have to do is sign up, uh, deposit $100, and you will get a free stock, and I will get a free stock. Uh, you can get free stocks, anything from um, Groupon, which is around $2, all the way up to Apple, which is around $200. All right, so maybe later. So uh, in my last video, so if you guys haven't checked those out yet, uh, in NRZ, I told you that I was going to uh, keep reinvesting to NRZ until my uh, equity is around $1,000. That will make me uh, $140.07 on the year based off its yield. So let's go on ahead and max this out while I can. Uh, how many shares would that be? Um, let's try 11, 12. All right, so I'm gonna be able to buy 13 shares of NRZ for 200, make limit, yeah, sure. Here we go. Limit cost, what is the what is the price of this right now? 1574, let's make a limit buy. Order limit for 1574, continue. Uh, what was it? 13 and submit all right so i put that place in so it should be filled pretty soon um if we take a look at my dividends uh on the month this has been my best month so far on dividend yield uh, all i have to do is go to history filter and then click the dividends button bam all right so if we're looking at june alone i got paid out 
from um, Intel, 63 cents. Sony, 53 cents. AGNC, 16 cents. O, 23 cents. NVIDIA, uh, 48 cents. WM, Waste Management, $1.54. SBR, 36 cents. And SPHD, $1.53. That's a pretty good one because it pays out every single month. And I'm holding a total number of 10 shares of SPHD, uh, 500 high dividend, low volatility ETL. So that's a pretty good one to get into. I think the dividend yield is around 4.71%. So this, this is a pretty good ETF to go ahead and buy, but I'm really looking for that high dividend like a NRZ to kickstart my dividend portfolio. And basically guys, that's how I've grown my account by just investing $200 every two weeks over time into the market, even when the market's high, when the market's low. When it's low, it really, does, it really do help my dollar cost average. That means if I buy some at, at very high, and I buy some at very low, then it kind of average it out somewhere in the middle. So when it goes back up, I can make profit off of that. All right, so that's the power of reinvesting over time. And then I'm actually reinvesting my dividends. So this month, I'm expected to make around 6 or $7 worth of uh, dividends from my small account. All right, but if we look at the power of compounding interest, all right? So let's say we're going over to compounddaily.com. Let's say I'm 20 years old or 25 years old and I make a deposit of $10,000 and I have a, a, a $10,000 on a portfolio that's going to yield 10% of a dividend yield. It's, it's pretty high, it's pretty risky, but it's very easy to maintain to find different companies where you could yield a 10% portfolio, all right? So that's gonna average out to 0.8333% a month. So you could uh, have 12, so you could have that 10% on the year and for 365 days and or months, reinvest it all, include weekends, sure. And then hit calculate now. All right, so let's just ignore that it says days right there and, and, and imagine that it says um, year, uh, months. All right, so after 12 months, exactly right, let's see if I can highlight, right there, 12 months, you'll be making $91 every single month uh, from your dividends and your account would be at, at $10,147. That's if you don't reinvest at all ever again for the rest of your life, you just make a $10,000 uh purchase for NRZ and you never reinvest again every night not even $200 and this if the market doesn't go up and or down but statistically saying the market usually have an 8% gain for the year but for for this example let's say the market stays stagnant and don't go up at all after the first year you will have uh, $11,000 in your account but let's fast forward 10 years uh, so that'd be month 120 now you'll be making $223 a day um, and you'll have $27,000 in your account. So for $223 a day, you'll be averaging over $1,000 a year. In fact, yeah, you'll be averaging over $1,000 a year. And so you're 25, now you're 35, you have $1,500 coming in every single year. Now you're free to go on a vacation every single year just from your dividends alone. Now let's fast forward 20 years from, from, 10, from 35 to 45. So let's go to 240. After 10 years, the snowball effect really start rolling. So let's look at these numbers over here. Over to 240. Now you're making $605 a month and you have $73,000 in your account. If you don't do anything, if you don't do any type of reinvesting uh, back into, I mean, into your portfolio, every game from the $10,000 investment from when you was 25, now you're 45, you're making $605 a month. And if we take a look at the calculator, 605 times 12 months, now you're making 7,260 bucks a year. You're free to go on, you're free to take your entire family on a very expensive vacation every single year just from your dividends alone, guys, okay? 
So me, I would be reinvesting over $5,000 every single year. So that $10,000 would roll into $15,000 and then $20,000. So after 20 years, when I'm 45, I would be making pretty much 10 times as much as this if I keep up at that pace and reinvesting. But 30 years from now, it'll be month 360. Bam, now you're making $1,639 a month with uh, over around close to $200,000 in your bank account just from that $10,000 investment from when you was 25. Now you're 35, 45, 55 and you have over $200,000 in your bank account free to buy a house, free to start flipping real estate and you'll be getting 1600 bucks every single month, guys. So yeah, that is the power of dividends and compound interest combined. You guys can make a ton of money, a ton of money if you stick to it. It is a snowball effect. It started off very slow. It started off very small, making $5 a month. But eventually, if you stick to it, you can make $15 a month, $1,500 a month, $15,000 a month. But that's the, that's the game of the, having a dividend portfolio. So, yeah, guys, if you guys do want to sign up for Robinhood, the link will be down in the description. Just go ahead, hit that, sign up, leave a comment in the comment sections about um, what free stock did you get. And then I'll leave on my next video. I will give you a shout out and let you know what free stock I got from opening up your profile. But yeah, um, in my last video was a Bitcoin video and I forgot to mention, whenever I make a Bitcoin video, it's gonna be a lot of people down in the comments trying to get you to send them Bitcoins or sign up for their courses or different things like that. Uh, a lot of 95% of them are scams. Uh, you can find any information about Bitcoin online or on YouTube like how I did. But yeah, try to stay out of the comment section and fall for any foolishness. But other than that, this is your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner, and I'm out.